So about a year and a half ago, uh, the then commanding officer regiment, uh, Colonel Gideons, wanted to explore the idea of having an RNS element nested at the regiment, regimental level. That way, if we did go to war, the regiment would be fighting, have an, R an organic RNS asset. I think it's beneficial because what we see most times is stable teams and us at the battalion level don't always get focused training on their skill sets. Uh, they get sucked into battalion exercises, company level exercises, and can't focus on developing the skills needed to be successful as a staple tune and be a, a true benefit to the uh, battalion. Being a part of our stack enables Marines to get better training. We focus on ourselves more than the battalion which uh, pushes guys through school more, gives us better funding, and uh, it's a great feeling. It's, uh, it's something not to take for granted. Uh, it makes guys strive to uh, perform to the best of their ability and learn as much as possible. Honestly, I'm still kind of anxious every time I shoot my first round through the barrel. And it's like, it's kind of like a basketball game or a football game. You got to get warmed up to it. But once you get warmed up to it, you know, you get, you apply the fundamentals and you apply the basic marksmanship qualities that you've learned in school and you've learned from people teaching you. And once you're, you're comfortable with it, it's pretty exciting. So the first one's always pretty nerve wracking. Being a pig it means uh, you're a professionally instructed gunman. So usually how it's done is the platoon will host a screener or an indoc and people will sign up for it. And if you're qualified, they'll allow you to come. Screeners can be from a day to a week. It's worth it once you get into the platoon, you get to actually do a lot of the stuff that you learned or that you wanted to learn. Getting sent to school is like a big deal. It's like, especially in a scout sniper platoon, it's like you want to become a sniper, so you have to go to school to become a hog, which is a hunter of gunmen. So once you pass school, you're a hog, and it's, then it's your job to kind of like teach the next line of pigs what they need to know to go to school. I think scout snipers are very um, underappreciated piece of the Marine Corps, asset of the Marine Corps. Um, they do everything that recon can do, just minus the insert platforms, able to conduct RNS. Uh, they're the battalion eyes forward uh, during operations, and now for the RSTAC, the regiment's eyes forward. Uh, they're very capable, very professional individuals. Um, they are all ch they choose to come to this platoon. It's a volunteer organization, volunteer unit, so the Marines here who come, come here want to be here and work very hard, and they're very good at their job. Being in a community so small and being in a community so close, it, it's just a really good feeling to know that you're a part of something that is different, but at the same time extremely valuable, and something that can definitely be utilized. The public should know that the training we, we get and the funding we get, we utilize every asset we have. We try to maximize um, every little piece of funding, we're, uh, we're allowed to pursue better training for the guys and overall um, benefit the teams.